Meghan Markle is a pretty difficult person to work with and it is clear she makes Prince Harry feel glum and miserable, royal expert James Morrow has claimed. Meghan Markle, 37, is a pretty difficult character to deal with and not all that easy to work for, the royal commentator said after the fourth member of the Duchess of Sussex's team resigned this month after joining only last year. Speaking to Sky News Australia, Mr Morrow said, I think it is a particularly tough gig for a princess like Meghan Markle who is in fact actually fairly notorious, something of a princess in a non-royal sense of the word. Her politics are very left-wing. She is always on about this cause or the other. You know what? Every time Harry is with her he always just looks very glum and miserable. However, every time you see a picture of them off with the lads and doing something else it is all smiles and laughter. So. I think she is a pretty difficult character to deal with and I think that yes sure it is hard working for the royals but it would be hard working for a government ministry or working in any sort of roles. So the turnover is expected only up to a point, the things that we have seen about Meghan Markle where she took that private jet to fly to a baby shower in New York at great expense while she is preaching about climate change and so on. I think a lot of people are going to say you know. I think this woman is a bit of a hypocrite here and she is probably on the balance of probabilities and not all of that easy to work for. Amy Pickerill, who was assistant private secretary to the Duchess, was tipped to replace the Duchess's private secretary before she resigned this month. Ms. Pickerill's departure follows the resignation of Meghan's PA Melissa Twabti who left after only six months Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding. The Duchess's bodyguard also quit in January sparking rumors Meghan is not all that easy to work for. Harry and Meghan, who are expecting their baby in early April or late May, are reportedly moving out of Kensington Palace over the coming month. The Cambridges and Sussexes are splitting their royal household and formally separating their staff within weeks. The couple has been living at Kensington Palace in London, near William and Kate and their three children. The division of the household is reported to be a natural move with the royal brother's former double act having developed into two couples and their families. But the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge have also faced rumours of a rift since before Christmas following news of the move. It was also claimed Meghan made Kate cry during a fitting for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress in the run-up to the royal wedding. Kensington Palace has refused to comment only to say an argument over the treatment of Kate's staff never happened. Royal sources also claimed the Duchess of Cambridge confronted Meghan for being too harsh on members of her staff. But the rumours of a rift between Kate and Meghan were temporarily silenced after the two royals arrived to Sandringham St. Mary Magdalene Church for the Christmas Day service smiling and chatting to each other.